For 13 days, we're celebrating the six month anniversary of our Gotcha Day with Cadence by re watching and reacting to our India trip with our kids. Today is day 11, filing for Katie's exit permit, reflecting on our last days in India, and video chatting with the boys. Day 11 of our celebration of the six month anniversary of Cadence being home. The celebration is coming to a close. We're in our last three days. This is Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday of the week we came home. Just two more days and we're gonna be flying home for Katie to meet the boys. That was probably the second best day of the whole trip after Gotcha Day. The most emotionally charged yeah. and just pinch me moment of the trip. So today though is the day we went to fight, I mean visit the FRRO office. And actually, everything today went smooth, even though we were there for a very long time. We were there for many hours, I believe. Uh, we got in there, we gave them our paperwork, we didn't even have to pay a fee, which we thought we had yeah, to... Yeah, which that was nice. We thought we had to pay a fee. We were ready with, with, with money in hand, and they didn't collect a fee, which is cool. And um, then we got out of there with our signature, and then we went home and promptly changed our reservations to fly home from Friday back to Wednesday. So we're gonna watch that video. You guys ready? Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Katie was the only one prepared again. Good morning. It was so early. After a long, exhausting day, day tripping to the Taj Mahal, the next morning we're- The DMV in America just looks like homework. It was cold that morning. Oh, it was. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, you were bundled up. We had Katie in a big, thick jacket. But hey, we got inside. That's further than we got on Friday. We were like number eight, if I remember right. Eight? That's a good question. I don't remember our number. So we already got through the FRRO office at this point. Oh my gosh, remember this? And they said, we can't give you your exit permit until we hear back from the Department of Women and Children, which is uh, the umbrella under which CARA sits, the Centralized Adoption Resource Authority. At least that's the way it used to be. Things are probably still changing. It could be different today. And uh, the FRRO said, you can just drive to Cara. Or you can wait 24 hours. Or you can wait 24 hours, come back, and we'll see, we'll see if Cara responded. Yeah, Basically, Cara just had to respond to an email. FRRO sends an email, or is it an email or is it a couriered letter? It was an email. Okay, an email, I guess. And they were like, all Cara has to do is respond to the email and give us like some kind of final approval, yeah. which, how is the adoption itself not the final approval? I know. The knock? Like the no objection certificate, the thing that gives you legal guardianship over the child, how is that not the final Cardinals. approval? I don't know. I guess they they want extra layers of protection because if a, if if people are frankly trying to traffic a child out of the country, yeah. they're trying to put layers of protection to prevent that from happening. So what a I get that, and that makes sense because it's for the safety of the child. They told us that we might be able to expedite things along with Kara if we went over and saw Kara directly. We so never expected we to go to Kara. Right. No one goes to Kara, or at least back then they didn't. So that she can what is the OFR? Foreign OFR? Regional Something Office. Foreign Regional Relations? I can't remember. And that means we're flying home. We already called you United. Huge, 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 huge. Huge, 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 huge shout out to huge, huge, United huge. Airlines for helping us out and letting us um, not Totally. Even United to Airlines, we still love you for doing that. Waived the fees. Um, just amazing. The change fees are supposed to be like $300 per ticket. It would have been $1,000 to come home sooner. And basically, it would be a wash. Right. Because if staying two nights plus all the meals would be. Still like a thousand dollars practically for all of us to eat to stay at this hotel And then you so we fly out tomorrow night. Yeah, and then United comes back and says hey, we'll uh, we'll do it for $50 per ticket We were like $150 
That means we're gonna save a thousand, like eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars, and not having to stay extra time in India. And when you're at the end of your adoption, that extra money, it's huge. It's huge. Because it was fifty dollars. They didn't change. They didn't do a change fee for us. They so it. Oh, so it was only fifty to change. Fifty dollars, yeah. Because we booked ours through United. That's but right. That <coughs> That's right. Or we booked hers. I forget. What it was. We booked hers through United. So hers was. We didn't have a change fee. So maybe it was a hundred dollars. So it was a hundred. That's right. We booked our tickets through like Priceline.com or something. And then once we had our tickets, we had to quickly call United and have them purchase a one-way ticket. And then yeah. link it to our reservation so that we could sit together and we didn't get separated on the plane. I can't describe it. I'm so excited to tell the boys that's what I said. Become evening here in New Delhi. Call that wedding. The wedding that we didn't know was a wedding until maybe the next day we found out it was a wedding. And then the funny thing about YouTube is. Honestly, based the on funny thing about YouTube is this actually might be some kind wait, of wedding. is that the wedding? The yeah, that's yeah. a wedding in the streets. And basically it's like, um, I've been told many different things and what I can surmise from the majority of people who have responded and commented on this video, um, this is like the ceremony where the, uh, the groom goes to get his bride. Some people have said he'll ride a white horse to go get her. Um, some people have said like different versions of that, but this is kind of like the party celebrating him going to get his bride. That's that's what I've been told. If it's different in your region or where whatever, like that's just the most recent comment I remember. But what I was gonna say, it's funny. Okay, if you're following YouTube, what's funny about being a YouTube family is that when you put a video out there like this, what this is outside, we found out five months ago, six months ago, what this was. But every Every other day or so, I get another comment telling me, this is a wedding, this is a wedding, right. this is a wedding. When I asked that question six months ago, now forever and ever, for the rest of our lives, I'm gonna have to hear every day or so, another person telling me, that's a wedding, that's a wedding. I don't, I don't know what to do. That's very interesting. I need to turn comments off in that video or something. <laughs> Papa. I love that. You know, Katie, I love that you called me Papa. Ones. You're allowed to, you know you're allowed to call me Papa still, right? Do you like Daddy or Papa more? Daddy. It's alright. It was cute. I'd never been called Papa by anybody. And my, in my family, my maternal grandfather, we called him Pop. So it was also kind of like, oh, a family, a family term of endearment too. Now, if you go back so many videos before, he said, uh, do you like calling me Pop, Daddy, Dad, or something else? And I called you Lollipop. Lollipop. Yeah. How'd you, how'd you, I already forgotten about that. Yeah. I'm going to call you Lollipop. And I was like, uh-oh, that's going to stick. And it got quietly hidden away until now, which now... For the next few weeks, the kids will probably no, call I me lollipop. I, can still remember. I forgot about that. Our bodies kind of giving out the last minute. Oh my gosh, it's so tiring. It would be cool to go again and actually be tourists in India. There. Because have, like, such a rigid schedule. right, the rigid schedule it, it truly exhausted us because you're you. I don't know. You get a little scared of things not working out the way they're supposed to, so you're you're driven by your adrenaline. So you're always wondering and worrying. What if I don't get that piece of paper? That's going to cause a domino effect that will make us miss our flight on Friday, and then we're going to have to pay an extra thousand dollars to leave later. And, right. and like I said, it's unfortunate, but at this point in the adoption process, you've spent tens of thousands of dollars and you're hemorrhaging money at the last minute just to, to fly, travel, airfare, food. So you're, you, you're kind of driven by the adrenaline and the money and it's, it's a little, it's stressful at the last minute. <clears throat> um, I can't believe they're having one. And you can't even see the people walking. Right. Well, yeah, they're d they're down there. They're like dancing and right. It was very eating. loud. Yeah, it was we very loud. we actually heard it before we ever looked out right. our window and saw it. We heard. <laughs> what is that? 
like like a a beat the of the bass of the music, and we were like, "What's that sound?" We knew it was a party, but we were wondering if it was in the convention center right. or, or what. Katie, do you still have that Netflix? I mean that necklace. Uh-huh. The one she was just wearing, I, I missed it. Mm-hmm. It, it, it had a card. Yeah, she has it. Yeah, she has it. What does it say behind it? It's like that on it or someone or something. It's white elf and It's bittersweet how time does that. But it is a blessing to see your children grow and hopefully grow in the Lord as they... I thought Kay always said it. Not to be too nostalgic. I do. Well, what I'm talking about is I'm being nostalgic about how quickly time passes because our time in India was like that. And I didn't feel that way. When we, like, it, right, but then here on the last, one of the, the last, last nights, yeah, it's like, it where did it go? We, it's almost like only a week later, I wish I could go back to the previous Monday and meet her again and fly to Delhi. And yeah, let's keep on watching God's Oh <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll just go back to Monday and keep reacting. This is where we Skype you guys. Yep, look at this. Them to be like just getting up and we're about to go to bed. He's hitting the camera. <laughs> we have good. We have good news. We're coming home Wednesday. Monday. Is that tomorrow? None of them. That's two days. What day is that? We fly out of India tomorrow night, but we won't be to you for the day after. Here she is. I don't know what. Hi, Kaden. Say hello. Say hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Hello. Look how short Timmy's hair is. I know. Everybody's hair is shorter. <laughs> I showed Cadence, uh, or actually, Cadence found a picture of Caleb the other day, and it's from like three years ago. He had super short, buzzed hair, and she brought it to me and goes, Dad, who is this? <laughs> It's awesome. I was like, that's Caleb. And she goes, no, it's not. Like, she got like really like, uh-uh, that's not Caleb. Do you know the picture I'm talking about? Remember the heart picture of Caleb? You were like, that's not Caleb. That's funny. <laughs> what did you guys think of that video? It's pretty good and pretty short, and I loved it. That wasn't the first time we Skyped, the kids Skyped with her, yeah, was we, it? Yeah, no. There was one time the prior week that they Skyped with her, and we Skyped with we had, Melanie's family. We had Skyped with, we didn't Skype with the boys, but we did Skype with... Their, their caregiver a couple times after that. Okay, yeah, that's that's true. The um, the funny thing is the, the little clips that I edited in of us actually talking to the boys, they were like, hi, Cadence. Cadence was like waving at them. And that probably lasted a total of three minutes. And then the rest of the hour long conversation was she was like, okay, I'm done. And she went and started playing with her toys. And the boys were like, okay, we're done. And they went and started playing with their toys. And we were left talking to Miss Emily, our, our friend Emily, who took care of them. And, uh, and then I came back. And that, oh, yeah, you did come team. back. That's right. Then you wanted to come talk about video games with us. Yeah. Like, so she could at least see the <laughs> it's, it, it just, And I lost my it, There's something so funny about that because they're Skyping with their new sister. And she's Skyping with her new brothers. And it's like they're all just like... Yeah, that's that's them. That's Hi. Them. Yeah. It was so natural. It wasn't like it almost didn't feel new. Yeah. And that's what you're gonna see in two more days when we bring them home. They're all like, "Hi, you want to go play on the swing set?" Okay. <laughs> and they go play, and it's like, right. oh, you guys that, are acting like you've always known each other. And that day, Katie sang. <laughs> she did. Oh, that's right. She and you did. Videoed I twice. I think I I, I videoed. What? Oh. You, were singing you probably don't know. I um when you were on the swing set. So when you first came home. That day. Remember the day you came home and you were on the swing set with the boys? You might not remember that specific day. There, she's done a lot of swinging since she came home. Um, but you were singing. You were singing a poem, an Indian poem. I have <laughs> don't, don't try it. You're going to massacre it, Timmy, or Logan. Um, but you were singing, and it was really, really cute. And since that time, we have received tons of right. comments of people telling us it is a, it is a kind of a nationalistic... Um, poem about the pride one would feel for their country, India. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!